Hey guys, Javano here with a uh, long overdue new addition to my Redstone for Dummies series. Uh, I will be finally be teaching you about uh, flip flops. This video will be my favorite flip flop, the T flip flop, which is short the toggle flip flop. Now, this is where we start getting into the super complex stuff, so don't worry if you, if you have to like write it down or something along that. I'll try and give you a top down view afterwards of it, but. Yeah, um, I'll just have an output here just to show you what it looks like. You don't actually really, this isn't part of the actual flip flop itself. This is just the output to uh, show you how it's working. Uh, snowy beach edition. Uh, I, I've, I've, I apologize for uh, not posting a video in like forever on this series. I really don't even have any excuses. I've just been busy with school and stuff in general. I haven't really been posting any videos in general at all, so I apologize for that. And that is one, two, close. I'm doing this all by memory, so if you're wondering. I would speed this up for you, but I feel it's necessary that you watch how it's built just so you can remember it more easily. As you can see, it's a fair bit bigger than the other stuff we've done in the past. But yeah, I find it's worth it. I've used this a lot, this particular flip-flop, more than all the others. It's extremely useful. There we go. Now the input's a bit weird. The input is actually a not gate, so you can kind of I think it could still work if you do it like that, but I always do it like this and just invert the input the way I want it. That looks like everything. So now you'll see when I put watch the output that torch right there. So I flip the input and it stays like that. I put another one down, it switches. When I remove it, it stays like that. Put another one down, it switches. Even if I remove it, it stays like that. And basically what it does is it waits for uh, a positive input for it to switch. So you'll see it's positive, so it switched. But if it gets a oh, if it gets a negative input, it won't switch. It waits for another positive input, and then it'll switch the output. Now you're probably gonna have to think about this to find uses, but I've been using it in my uh, seven seg display, which I really should continue working on. I've kind of halted that project for a bit. But uh, how I'm using it is I have four of these linked end to end, and if you don't really know how a binary uh, counter works, you won't really understand, but it's basically a binary clock because it takes every second switch of input. So it's kind of hard to verbally explain. I would have to show you. I'll probably do that in... Uh, I tried to do that in one of my earlier 7 6 play videos, but it was probably extremely confusing. So I will probably not explain it again. But yeah, here I'll give you a bird's eye view of this. Thing. Okay, so you got the chicken, which is extremely necessary. Uh, you got your output here. You don't need this little block with a torch on it. It's just this is the output. I just put a torch on it so you can see it easier from the start. This is the input. Now, uh, since the input starts at a NOT gate, you're going to have to invert the input if you want it to uh, be the same. 
if you know what I mean. And then uh, you got redstone hanging torch, which is a knot gate. Goes uh, redstone on the ground to a torch, which is another knot gate. Redstone, redstone, knot gate. Redstone all the way down here. Uh, redstone leading up to that torch. Redstone down here, down here, down here leads to a knot gate. Redstone up here leads to a knot gate. Redstone, 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 knot gate, redstone, redstone. Now, uh, this doesn't just go to the back of this torch. It actually goes over top of the block, which is different from all these other ones. So uh, keep that in mind. And, uh, yeah, I'm not really going to try and explain how it works. It's going to end up just confusing more than it helps you. But long story short, it's just a lot of RS nor latches, which are basically two uh, knot gates pointing to each other. So you got an RS nor latch there. Got an R RS nor latch there, there, there. Basically just a huge amalgamation of a whole bunch of RS nor latches. And that's about all I'm going to go <laughs> to explaining it, because your mind would probably explode if I tried to explain it any cool. further. And I just killed myself. But uh, that's about it for the T flip-flop, the toggle flip-flop. Uh, thanks for watching.